Hello guys, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Rans Graphics and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a food and grill opener inside After Effects. You can use these techniques in all the animation projects that you have, okay? So without any further ado, I will show you what we are gonna be making today. all the assets that I'm gonna be using in my project I'm gonna go to composition create a new composition and I will name it liquid shape it is 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration I will click ok I will right away go to my layer and create a shape layer and go to my shape tool, double click it to create a shape the same size as the comb and the color is white I will go to FX and preset distort and turbulent space I will change the turbulent displacement to twist and then the amount I want it 180 click and hold your alt create an expression on the evolution and type time times 200 click P on your keyboard for the position move your playhead on the 5 second duration and create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch in here then move back your playhead at the beginning of your timeline move your shape on the right side I'll just type it negative 1000 so you will see this now I will highlight this layer and go to edit duplicate it and I will change the color to orange I will just copy the code here so it will be the same as what we have in our intro I will click OK highlight this layer and go to edit and duplicate it I will change the color to greenish again I will go back here and copy the code click ok and I will move my playhead to about 15 frames highlight this layer and click open bracket key to move it and then move my playhead again to 1 second duration I will highlight the shape I will press open bracket key to move the layer so now this is what we got to make it more interesting I will highlight all these layers go to edit and duplicate it I will move these duplicated layers on top of the original layers I will move my playhead about 2 seconds and I will move these layers here and as you can see we have now here a liquid like animation of our shape so now I will go to composition and create a new composition I will name it text placeholder by 1080p 30 frames per second and same 12 seconds duration click ok and grab your text tool and I will type cravings align it at the center so I'm using Vineran IDC font regular at 100 pixel size the spacing of the letter is 0 and the height of the letter is 100 and I will again create a new composition and I will name it text animation click ok I will go to my project panel and drop down this liquid shapes and the text placeholder I will change the track mat here to alpha mat so when we scrub our playhead you will see that there is an interesting animation on our 
text. So after this, I will go again to composition and create a new composition. I will name it image placeholder or video. Doesn't matter. It's up to you guys. You will use image or video. I will go to my project panel and drop down this liquid shape and I will open the project assets go to footage I will drop down this video press S on your keyboard to scale it down I will scale it down like this okay and then I will pre-compose it to make it procedural move all the attributes to the new composition click OK I will change the track mat here to alpha mat. So now I'm gonna go to composition again and create a new composition. I will name it main. This time I'm gonna be changing the duration, probably 17 seconds, 1920 and 1080p, 30 frames per second. Click OK. I will drop down this text animation and also the image placeholder then go to about 5 seconds duration and highlight these two I will press my keyboard open bracket key to move the layers and then I will go to my footage and drop this video clip so when we preview this one let's see nice Very simple animation, but according to me, your brand has an appeal. So I will go back to the liquid shape because I want the white here layer to be the topmost. Probably move this to here. I will move this also here. Move this on the three seconds duration because I want the letters to be white at the end. So let's see. It's white, right? Instead of green. As you can see in here when we scrub our playhead and we will reach probably 14 seconds the background is lost so all I have to do is to open the video right click my mouse enable time remapping expand the layer up to the end of the timeline and also the keyframe so now when we go back to our main we move our playhead until the end of our timeline the background will remain there so what I'm gonna do is to go back to composition create a new composition and I will name it final and I will click OK and I will drop down the main here you can add the sound effects on it on the main but it's up to you guys I will just include it in my project file so you can use it and play around with it so now I'm gonna go back to my project panel and create a new folder I will name it scene 1 And highlight these compositions except the final drag it to your scene one folder so it's clean to look at okay so our tutorial is done and i hope guys that you enjoy it and for those people who are new in this channel don't forget to subscribe like and comment and press the notification bell so that you will be notified in all the videos that i'm gonna be uploading in the future okay and for those who already subscribe Thank you very much for supporting my channel. My thoughts for today guys is that understanding is better than knowledge because people may know you but they don't understand you. So guys thank you for watching and see you next time. God bless.